Among all the destruction left behind are beacons of hope in the form of volunteers. Many of them coming from around the country to help Oklahoma tornado survivors get back on their feet. News 4's Adria Goins went back to Sulphur today. Families who live in this neighborhood in Sulphur, one of the hardest hit ones from this tornado, say whenever the storm blew through, their cars were damaged. They couldn't get out of the neighborhood. So they made a few phone calls and they got some of their necessities. They got a porta potty right here. They got food delivered from volunteers. They even have cases of water here on the side of the road. And those donations and volunteers keep coming. This place was loaded with trees. Complete strangers clearing away down trees outside Vicki Skidmore's childhood home. This house was built in 1904. Her mother, who lives there, was not home when Saturday's tornado hit. If she had been here, it would have killed her. Thousands of volunteers from across the country helping families like Vicki's at the Murray County Expo Center, a makeshift distribution center. Families coming in and out, grabbing what they need. While I was there, a crisis center dropped off a load of diapers. Workers from low stores across Oklahoma donating time and supplies. They made some fresh meals. These are going to go out to the community. A group of volunteers out of Mississippi from the nonprofit called Eight Days of Hope pulled into town Monday. They brought two trailers, one that transforms into a kitchen and another a refrigerator. I just saw the, the immediate need people had just for a hot meal. They've handed out more than 1,000 meals and counting. In Sulphur, Adria Goins, Oklahoma's News 4. Pastor Derek Scobie was also in Sulphur today. He said a semi-truck loaded with donations from World Vision arrived in town this week filled with cleaning supplies, tarps, toys for children, pillows, and food.